but I wanted to write about a group of women who will give their life for a cause, and a cause that we take for granted now, certainly in the Western world. Um, and so it became about finding the story of Maud. It was a nice big fat metaphor in the middle of the film and then actually when we looked at the visual um, images and photography from that time, it was all about repression. It was all about women who on the surface were very neat and very together and very in control and it was about smoothing things out and cleansing and ironing and getting rid of the stains of life. But actually what was going on underneath was kind of modern day slavery again. It's, I don't know whether women are more generous, but there's certainly a huge generosity of spirit. And, and I guess in a way, when you get a group of women like this, there was a buzz about us all being women together. So there, there was a sort of sisterhood. And uh, I think most people are a bit wary of that, but actually I think it's a word to be embraced. Actually, I think the kind of the, the need to vote and the need for female equality has never felt more personal and more relevant to be discussed and so and still interrogated and engaged with and so it felt very much like the right time to address it. I think feminism had become such a dirty word for a long time and it becomes so uncool when it shouldn't have. And I feel like this film is really about embracing our inner feminism and our inner suffragette and pulling her to the forefront, you know. So it connected all of us, I think, very much back to the kind of long female lineage in our own families and go, you know what, kind of amazing that we're here, kind of amazing that we're, we're heading up this film. Um, our great-grandmothers would be proud, you know.